you. I want to bring in Kristen Walker, moderator of Meet the Press and NBC senior Washington correspondent Hallie Jackson. Good morning to both of you. So, I mean, what did, Kristen, we'll start with you. What do you think she needed to do in this speech, and did she do it? I think she did. She needed to reintroduce herself to the country. Yes, she served as vice president for nearly four years, but a lot of Americans aren't that familiar with her history, with how she got uh, to the White House, and what her vision is for the future. So she talked about how she was raised, raised largely by her mother, a, a working class family. She talks about the experience of that, the strong values her mother instilled, talks about her time as a prosecutor, why she wanted to become a prosecutor, a close friend had been violated. Those are the types of themes that resonate with people who don't know her potentially. And then she did lay out her vision for the future. What was notable is it largely built on the Biden agenda. What she didn't do was to lay out where she might differ from President Biden, but notably, Savannah, she cast herself very carefully as someone who was moderate. So that could potentially reach out to some of those moderates independents who are going to be critical to winning this election. It did seem that way that she was donning that aura of a prosecutor that feels yeah. comfortable to her as a former prosecutor, literally. I mean, she used sometimes legal language in, in making the case against Donald Trump. He has explicit attempt in, intent to do this, to do that. And she did seem to move to the center, talking tough on immigration, for example. Yeah, and it wasn't just making the case against Donald Trump. It was making the case explicitly for herself as well in those prosecutorial terms. She talked about some of these issues, immigration. She talked about Israel and Gaza, for example, and tried to thread that needle in a way that would be appealing to the party. And she looked directly into the camera and she said, I'm for all of America, essentially. Democrats, but also Republicans and independents, because this is part of the Democratic strategy, to broaden the number of people who will come into the tent and back Kamala Harris. It was also interesting. She did not, you know, you look back at Hillary Clinton in 2016, who leaned into the idea that she could break a glass ceiling if she were to become the first woman elected president. Remember that slogan, I'm with her. For Kamala Harris, it's much more she's with you, with that for the people slogan. And one campaign official said to me, we're not talking about the historical nature of her candidacy because this race is not about Kamala Harris. That's the idea that they're trying to push. It's interesting because she's not mentioning that at all. The media and the headlines all say, oh, you're making history. They make that note. But but it's she's not the one who's necessarily driving that aspect of her candidacy. In some way, Savannah, she's making the point that she doesn't have to because it is thread throughout her entire message. Think about so much of the messaging that we heard here this week. For example, from former First Lady Michelle Obama, who talked about her powerful, strong mother. From former President Barack Obama, who talked about his grandmother, who made the case that it's women who built this country, the values, the ideals. But at the same time, there's another part of that strategy, Savannah, which is, and this touches on what Hallie is saying, which is basically to try to reach out to a broader swath of people to try to make people comfortable with voting for her, not because she's a woman, but because the case she laid out last night, that she believed she would be the strongest commander. Well, and as she said to Peter Alexander, who somehow grabbed her somehow under crowd and it. got an yeah. exclusive interview there, but she, it's 75 days to go, yeah. and the hard work starts now, and a debate September 10th in just a couple of weeks. The timeline has been so compressed for yeah. everything she's done, picking a vice president, this debate prep now. We understand she's already held at least one mock session. We know the former President Trump is also preparing as well. That's going to be their next Next big high profile yeah. moment. Hallie and Kristen, what a pleasure. Go grab a nap. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.